but is this already the start of the game? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna start my timer. As we look at this submarine. Ohio class nuclear the submarine discovery. disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. SDV gets as close as it can. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. I'm interested and to learn more Ocelot, about Decoy Octopus. That's a great name. And a formidable gunfighter. The others and finally, were names I have heard before in the, in the like, Foxhound from squad. the Metal Gear Solid lore, but I've never heard Decoy Octopus. Voice sounds a lot like Alderus from StarCraft. I've never played StarCraft, so I have no idea what that sounds like. But it's possible they use the same voice acting. You can hear it? I mean, you can always look up who the voice actor is, right, and see if they're the same. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. I have no idea, Rua. But Mary Gondola knows. Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Stakes, Tactical Espionage Action, I'm down. The guy doing the briefing is Roy Campbell? Alright, so yeah, same person doing both. Are there any options that matter? Doesn't really look like it. Start a new game. Normal. Kind of radar not displayed during the intrusion mode. Radar for novices? Sure. I'll, I'll take the novice radar. I don't recognize him even when he's not being all protasy. I mean, some people have very distinct recognizable voices, I, I think. But most of the time I don't recognize voices. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got some guards patrolling here in between these containers. Time to see if we can sneak. Also, first, lots of characters in Skyrim. I've also never played Skyrim. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Wait, who's this guy? He looks like a tool. Oh yeah, I don't own Skyrim either. I'm the sneakiest snake. Hopefully. Are you into RTS at all? Um, so some people would consider Pikmin an RTS, in which case I would say yes, I love Pikmin. Um, I've played a bit of Age of Empires, which I thought was fun, but I was never good at it. And that's about as far as my experience with RTS goes. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, the What's codec the things. Snake? These are funny. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, Contact me by codec. The frequency Sounds like you do enjoy RTS games then, or at least good ones. Uh, I mean, yeah, I enjoy those games. Push the pause button. I don't know if Pikmin counts. Button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. So it's fun to when try. Storytelling is good, and the gameplay press very the solid. Button, and then so is it like a single-player campaign? Because I thought StarCraft was like the esports uh, PVP no game. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, but maybe I'm that's only the sequel or maybe that's also an element to it i don't know okay so we can run around we can stand up against the ledge cool we can duck crawl even what's going on snake you'll have to crawl to get through there yeah, I'm on. Crouch down by pressing the crawl button, and then I'm, press the control stick in the I'm direction doing of the wall. Just remember that you can't move very fast when you're crawling. There's an expansive campaign, both single again. and multi, but it's more renowned for its multiplayer. Okay, I mean, yeah, I, I knew about the multiplayer, but I guess I never knew there was a single player element to it too. Oh, there's a little mouse up there. Hello, mouse. Oh. Oh, I think someone spotted me. It's fine. It's fine. I I got away. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm sneaky. I did the sneakiest sneak. See, they don't know where I am at all. They haven't got a clue. How did you get spotted already? Nah, I didn't get spotted. I don't know what you're on about. I was never even remotely in danger of getting spotted. Does every Metal Gear game have the alert sound? I don't know, I think it is famous, but... I haven't played enough Metal Gear games to know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Aha. Okay, now I can see on the radar. Do, 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 do. Oh no. He doesn't know where I am. I need to crawl. Crawl? Crawl underneath? Crawl underneath? I think they might still be able to see me. Maybe. Aha! Can I fight? 
Oh, I can fight. Look at that. I don't think this is... Hmm. So... What happened? Snake! That wasn't ideal. Snake! Are Metal Gear non-solid games? I think one of the characters is called uh, Liquid Snake. Okay. It's fine. Sigs. Highly addictive and hazardous to your health. Why do we have those? already crawling okay i don't see a guy over there now we should be allowed to get out and push up against this wall wait what where where huh how did you see me that doesn't make sense to me how he saw me can i murder you I don't know how I murder people. Murder, snap his neck. Snap his neck, kill him, finish him, take his gun. I don't understand. Snake, answer me. You have a mini map? You were in his line of sight? There was a guy on the right. There was a guy on the right? I didn't see the guy on the right. I was just looking at the guy from the corridor and I was like, okay, I'm good. This is the perfect position to be in. Okay, so I see that guy. And then there's gonna be a guy to the right as well. Oh, there's. There's a guy. You're not gonna see me if I'm here, right? Sneak 100. There we go. And can I like... Oh, I'm... Okay, question. Is there any way to like sneak up behind someone and like knock them out? Because like... I can like run up to these people when we're in combat, but like, can I do a sneak attack to like knock them unconscious? There's a grab button. Hmm. Okay. Just, just murder me so I can restart this. Let's try this again. We're, we're learning, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully we do better here. Okay. We're all underneath. Maybe I need to be more patient. No, he's around the corner now. So we're good, right? No. No. Stay, stay against the wall. What, why do you turn around? Last time you didn't turn around. I don't understand. What's my grab button? Was it that? Haha. -ha. I toss you in the water. What? I don't... I don't get how this works. I'm confused on the controls of this game. Is, can I like press start and few controls? Yes, 
Yeah, I, I probably just suck at it. You walk on the puddle on the floor. Yeah, okay, but are, are there controls somewhere? Just, just murder me. So I can start again. Now I know about puddles. It's a learning experience. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Snake! I'm used to Hitman, and this this doesn't have the controls that Hitman does. So it's an adjustment. So in theory, you'll be able to walk over here. Why would you call me now? I'm in front of the Snake, elevator. There's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait. See how long it took to you to down. notice how to solve the you puzzle in Resident Evil? I have high hopes. You know, I should have probably paid attention so they would have told me how to work the elevator. Who's there? No one's here. There? No one's here. I'm an elevator going. How would they see me? I'm like perfectly blended in. Perfect camouflage. Good news, you don't have to answer all the calls. But he, he probably tells me how to work the elevator, right? Who are you? Okay, I probably need to sneak up to behind someone and like steal an elevator key or something. It's fine. 50 minutes in, still still literally at the very start have not made progress it's it's fine they made it harder in this version where they notice things more outside the line of sight see it's not just me being bad they've made the game hard and i am being punished as a result what's the point of line of sight if they don't Stick to line of sight. Who is that? Enemy sighted. Requesting backup unit. Enemies are just a little starving. More, more like gun sight. Yeah, but they see me outside of the cone. So it's it's pointless to have a cone of sight if they don't stick to that. Because then I, again, have no idea where they're going to be. And the cone of sight is a pointless addition. Right? No! Snake! Get off snake! Snake! You don't exactly blend in? I don't. I mean, I feel like I should. I can't press start. D-pad is also movement for some reason. C-stick is nothing. L is this and R is this, which don't help me. Z lets me go into like first person view. That doesn't help. Y does absolutely nothing. A does absolutely nothing. B does a little punch and X is to crawl. Most buttons don't really help. Start plus A up is a codec. Snake, you'll have to. But like, what's my menu? Where can I view my controls? The manual. 
I mean, okay, yeah. I guess that was how it worked in this time. Okay, I need you to walk past here. Why are you coming this way? I can hide behind this wall, right? This should be safe. Try start plus B. That didn't give me much. Is there somebody there? Enemy sighted, requesting backup. Hmm. They tell you some controls as you progress, but you do need to get out of the first room. I mean, I, I get that, but like, knowing how to like sneak up behind someone to knock them out would be very vital, I feel. Like, I guess you can sneak around without them. But like the one time I made it to the elevator, I couldn't do anything at the elevator. And then I got caught there. Don't really need to knock them out. Okay, but then how do I enter the elevator? Because I made it to the elevator last time. I can try and make it there again. But then if I make it there only to um, not be able to open it. In top right, there's a place you can hide. Also, their walking patterns don't seem consistent. Don't. Don't. Oh my god. Don't go against that wall. And then once they've seen you a little bit, you're just screwed. I can't do anything at this elevator. Literally nothing will access it. I don't understand. There's an action button. Codex should tell you, but I can't remember if anybody comes on or I mean, I tried punching there. You, you, you saw my character punching. Can I go past this without making noise? Don't spot me. How did they spot me? How did they spot me? Are you kidding me? I was in the shadows. I was literally in the shadows though. He was in the shadows. They have no idea where I am. They don't hear you if you're running on that normal floor? Are you sure? Because I swear every time I run, they hear me. See, they, they, they jump around if I'm just walking somewhere. They 100% hear me. I'm like 99% sure they hear me running.
Okay, so I'm at this locker. Do you tell me how to get the elevator? Snake, there's an elevator there you can yes, take up. Yes, I'm aware. Room. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. So why can't I hide at the very start? Whatever, I'm gonna hide behind this thing. Can I lay down? But maybe face the other way? No, don't don't stand up. Lay down. Huh? Who's there? How is this not a hiding spot? I need help. Saw your feet. Why do we have feet? Just, just to satisfy feet fetishists. That's the only reason we have feet. And again and again in life, they ruin you. Do this, get up, walk over here, walk over here, wait for you. Is there somebody there? See why why does he he notices me for no reason? There is not a puddle in sight. There's no way he could see me from that position. He heard my walking. That, that's what I mean, right? He hears my walking out of nowhere. There's no logic to that. Snake, answer me! Snake! Snake! I have no idea what their line of hearing or line of sight is. And that makes it very hard to sneak when you have no idea on what an enemy can see or hear in the game. Hmm? Is there somebody there? Like like what did he what did he hear? Enemy sighted, requesting backup unit. What 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 could he have heard? I'm pretty sure the one time I tried to play Metal Gear Solid, this exact same thing happened. And I, I was just stuck on this first thing for forever because it didn't make sense to me. Because in theory, the Metal Gear Solid games sound really cool to me, like sneaking around and stuff. I like stealth games and stealth killing and things like that. So it really feels like it lines up with my interests, but like for some reason, something about it, it in practice just does not work for me. And I don't know if it's my brain being bad or what. Is there somebody there? But like, yeah, they, they hear you out of nowhere. Can you? Am I hidden well like this? I feel like this should be hidden well. Okay, this time he didn't see me somehow.
So like like this. I don't know when the elevator will be here though. Will they give me a sign? Oh, I get I guess it does. I mean, that's a lot of guards here. Kind of need them to not be here. Aha! Got there. Only took me 30 minutes. This is promising for how this game will go. Now the fun begins. Oh, it's edgy blonde guy. They probably expect you to do that in like five minutes. Not 30, but you know. Now you're solid, the twin snakes. There's more guards with guns. Cardiac time? Cardiac time. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Way to rub it in, jeez. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Okay. Behind D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Jim is a fan of those Heinz D's. Now is your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Oh yeah, my, my specialty, slipping in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly Hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. Sounds it's an cool. It's to speak to a living legend like yourself. 
What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> wow. Not just flattering me. No, I'm Snake serious. flirting with his well, colleagues? I, I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Sh Should we really be flirting system. on this mission? The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots yeah. are your enemies. Uh-huh. And the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Uh-huh. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If okay. he's alive, that is. Sure. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. Right. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. Sure. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Okay. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can yeah, find. Yeah, why don't we get weapons brought with us? First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Do they actually help me? Because I feel like it's just because that matches his personality. In, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna go for a duck. Also, I guess I should... call Mei Ling and save. When I read this version is easier and harder, bosses are made easier, said, but it looks like AI have been made smarter. Huh. Snake, you're all alone. Okay, I didn't need your life story, I just wanted to save. Okay, let's see, there's a box there of some kind. What's that? Chef G? What? Huh? I'm confused. What did I pick up? Chef grenade. The temporary neutralizes. Press A to aim and release to throw. What? I threw it here? Huh. That's a weapon. Yeah, I'm I'm comp It's a bit weird how I have like an L and an R menu. Like I really would have preferred that on my D-pad. 
I don't know why they decided that movement should have been on the D-pad rather than the analog stick. Or rather, like, why movement should be on both the D-pad and the analog stick. Because now, this and this are on your left and right. And that feels very awkward. Quirk of the port. It was like a... Was this a PS1 game before the PS1 had analog sticks? Oh, there was a guy up there. I, I missed you. I don't know why I couldn't take that guy's gun though. Like that, that would make sense, right? If I could take a guy's gun after I knock him unconscious. But that doesn't seem to be a thing. Explain why you can't use their weapons, do they? Didn't they say you need to find your own weapons? Why would I not find the ones that they are using? And there's nothing over to this side. So I think I made the right decision by starting to go here. Oh, I can run up this as well. Oh, and I can see, like, my footprints left in the snow, I guess. Metal Gear Solid ends up being a very information-rich game. Yeah, I can see it being cool when you get into it, but I, I feel like it's not very beginner friendly. Like if you don't have the background information, background knowledge. Feels like it's a lot to take in. I check this Is there a point in coming in here? Was there a problem to be used by certain people? Oh, the psychopath's weapons. Right, right, okay. Similar to that. Whenever your button opens lockers. Well. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can actually sit in it. Okay, and I got a weapon. Stun grenade. Grenade that temporarily stuns enemy stuns. Press A to aim and release the trigger. Okay, there's a guard up there. 
but I can't see his line of sight at all. Are you sleeping? Did I see that right? The little zap coming from his head? Wait, there's two enemies there? Why did he wake up? I'm crawling. Like, that's what I don't get. Like, they hear sounds from nothing and wake up. He was half asleep. Still, I was out of his line of sight. And I was literally crawling. That's the most quiet you can be, right? He saw a figure. I was out of his line of sight. I might as well just play without radar because the line of sight on the radar tells you nothing. It's just a lie that makes you feel safe when you're not safe at all. Snake, answer me! Snake! Snake! The thing is because they're your line of sight when they spot you, but they can still see you from somewhere far away like in real life. Yeah, but then... Uh, I don't know. Surveillance camera. Having a visibility cone and not using it is just very deceptive. That's my my issue with it. The original didn't have that feature for your info. I'm not a fan of how smart these guys appear to be. So where do I aim? I, I can't see where I'm going to be throwing this. How do you decide how far you throw it? If you throw it literally two steps in front of you, it's an absolutely pointless item. Because the enemies will see you 10 times over before you can throw the stun grenade. It doesn't show me an arc or anything of where my grenade is going to aim. Originally you could circle around them and not see you. I, I, I legitimately don't know where my stun grenade will throw. Because they don't show anything. A surveillance camera. Really? Really? It was in a cutscene. It was in a cutscene. You put me in a cutscene, then put me out of the cutscene. And he spots me because he keeps moving while I'm stuck in a cutscene. Are you joking? Are you joking, game? The camera spotted you. The guy spotted me. Snake says, oh, there's a surveillance camera. I'm in the cutscene. Before the cutscene, I was not spotted. Cutscene ends, immediately spotted. You move forward? I was already spotted by that time. Is there somebody there? He's gonna see me. 
Maybe someone didn't see me. Maybe he sees my footprints. Where's the vent? Oh, the vent is there. N next to the sleeping guard I can't do anything about. Gotcha. That's cool. Can I? Wh Enemy why am I stuck on this? Okay, I'm just gonna run up. Where's the vent? What just grabbed all legit happened to me? So why couldn't that happen to me? I don't... Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master. At least put the cute mean? girl on the phone. I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well... I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141... Can't believe how smart the AI in this version is. I don't even remember it being this smart in any of the games. Yeah, if, if, like, I'm not playing on hard, right? I didn't select hard difficulty because I feel like the AI here is something that I'd expect out of hard difficulty. Not normal. Maybe I should have played on easy or something. I'm pretty sure I picked normal. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <coughs> really? Oh, they're He's anxious. He's done three people. He's killed Wait, three, three people? people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Who's stealth? killed three people? There's an intruder besides me. Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. And there's someone else. But he's actually doing it well. Keep crawling, I guess. Do, 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 do. Where will we go? Where will we go? Oh, this looks like something we're gonna drop down. I don't wanna have a call. I wanna just play if I can. Can I not? Like this is a dead end. I want to go down this hole. Okay, there we go. We love the extreme difficulty though. Game over being spotted. I mean like... Something like that can be good if the spotting mechanisms work well. Right, I think I think something like that is really cool because it forces stealth. But then like I'd I'd need to have like good understanding and familiarity and comfortability with the stealth mechanisms. And I don't feel I have that right now. And thank you for the follow, Mr. Kalu. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. If you just want to lurk, that's okay too. Oh, this is a dead end. That's great. I don't know where I'm going. 
go. You're gonna come up. I need to punch you. Yeah, I'm going here. Open. Open. Enter. Well, I guess we're running down the stairs. I'm dying. Nice tanks, by the way. It's locked. Well, rip. I guess it puts me back outside, right? Because we've been saved. No, it actually puts me inside. It's the Y button to exit out of that. What do you want to say? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo. Okay, cargo elevator. Gotcha. Grab this and crawl. It's usually as you enter a new area. Okay, I wasn't sure what it would do. Crawl quicker, snake. He crawls so slow. And also, I wish we could actually kill people. Like th that, that, that would be cool, you know. We, we, we infiltrate this place where people are shooting at us. But uh, apparently we're too afraid to actually harm them. Let me snap their neck. You just killed that guy? He fell over the railing. That was an accident. I want to snap their neck on purpose. I mean, the only attack I have is punch and I have to admit it doesn't feel like the most effective attack out there okay so I made it past that this time You sneak behind and choke them, but I always find it hard to master. How? What? Which button? Literally, which button would it be? I have a gun. Where's my gun? Here it is. How do I use it? Press A button to aim. Release the fire. I can't, I can only aim at side level. I can't aim down at the ground. Really? And you're forced to shoot if you start aiming. L literally, the fact that they put movement on the D-pad is ruining this game's control scheme. It is literally one of the dumbest things I've seen in a game. Oh, I have no more bullets, I guess. Ooh. 
You can go into first person. It's not D-pad movement alone that's the issue, Bell. It's that we have analog stick and D-pad that both control movement, which is just not really needed. Like this isn't a game I feel that relies on D-pad movement. And because they use movement on the D-pad, you can't have D-pad be used for other things. Like the L and R menus would be perfect on uh, up down D-pad and then left right D-pad. And then you can have R to actually take out your gun with A to shoot or something, right? And then you can have proper aim and things like that. And it, now it's like the control scheme is really awkward with how you equip items and things like that. I don't know. You know, it... It didn't... It didn't work for me. I can see that there's probably something good here if you're into stealth games and things like that. And I don't think that Metal Gear Solid is an overrated franchise or anything. I just think it doesn't work for me here. Like, I can't get the hang, get comfortable with the controls and how it works here. And that's unfortunate because I, I feel like if that wasn't the case, the Metal Gear Solid series is something I really could get into. But... Yeah, it's weird. When I played the PS version, it worked real fine. I mean, like, I can understand if you don't have an analog stick that you put D-pad movement. That makes sense. But, like, here, they didn't the need to way. do D-pad movement because they had access to an analog stick. And then they had the opportunity to use the D-pad for other things. Because now the D-pad is basically pointless. So you're taking four buttons off the controller and wasting all of that potential to improve the control scheme. I don't know. Maybe I'm complaining over nothing and maybe it's a me issue. Very possible because it is highly regarded and I, I think genuinely this is just me not aligning with the control scheme rather than the game being at fault, right? Not, not calling the game bad, just saying, I don't think it works for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm deep at doing other stuff while analog stick is a thing makes sense. Um, and now it's just like wasted and, and the, like what you do with the R and L feels awkward and like, yeah, I don't know. Like there, there's so many useful things that they could have bound to R and L instead that they can't now. They do pause the game, so you don't need to rush. Yeah, but it's it's more like other things, right? Like, for example, throwing a grenade, right? It's pressing and holding and then releasing, which is so awkward, right? Rather than that, I would want to like press in R. To like aim and then show me like an aiming arch or something like that like an arc and then let me press the a button when i want to throw and then if i let go of r before pressing a it just puts it away again something like that would be possible if you had those menus on the d-pad instead of r and l but because those menus are on, on RNL, you're forced and to awkwardly do both aiming and shooting slash aiming and throwing your grenade just by pressing and releasing, like holding down and releasing. And that just feels like a really awkward control scheme to me. I remember they worked for a much bigger radius on the originals. Maybe this is not the, not a good play. I don't know. 